the school system are well equipped to get those, those new jobs. So I do support Tony, Tony Smith's motion 100%. Just very briefly on Stuart's motion. Whilst you know, I, I do support the spirit of the motion, and I think it's, uh, you know, Jeff talked about the unintended consequences. The unintended, the implicit levy, it's been very clearly um, skewed <coughs> against the interests of maintained schools um, who are having to pay this levy, where, whereas trusts and academies are not having to. So, it's a deliberate policy. That does need to change. But I'm afraid you cannot support what would be tying us into a commitment of £369,000 where no, there's no source where that budget's going to come from. Um, and I think, I agree with Steve Max, that lets the government off the hook. It's the, the, the rules they've created around the apprenticeship levy for schools that is causing this problem. And, and I'm happy to, um, to meet with, with him and any other members to talk about how we can mitigate that. But we can't sign a, a, a blank check for 369000 without any idea where that money's coming from. So, regrettably, we won't be supporting that motion. And can I finally say, Mr. Beck, what really galls me about this debate is the opposition, the Tory opposition, won't stand up for young people in schools and will. Yeah. And slavishly, both Jeffrey and Wendy Clement, slavishly supporting the Tory party in what is a clearly ridiculous and divisive policy. I'm hoping that you can. I'm hoping we've had a screeching new turn around yeah. national insurance payments, we've had a screeching new turn around uh, social care funding. We need another U turn around this, and let's make sure that we give our young people the high quality education that they deserve for the future of this borough. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
and really concerned whether, we, whether some schools would be able to survive. It's as bad as that. So please, you know, I urge everyone tonight to support my motion and, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, support my letter to the Secretary of State for Education.
amendments move us to second reading.
particularly the trouble war. Well, I uh, just uh, did my backing. Uh, and I still kill me to this day. Uh, seriously, it is. Then I bank any boats and they were at Alderton uh, in Queen's Park, yeah, in Hoy Lake, um, celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday uh, and the celebrations around that. Uh, we met the Queen and Principal of Lookalike. Uh, that was quite an experience and we met a, a royal meal in the Royal Temple on a nice sunny day. Thank you very much for your, for your uh, help. Can I say also, we went round, I mean, I'll just be brief, but it, it, it's important that people realise, I'm sure other members who have been there, uh, put, 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 uh, backing up on this, we, we, uh, the notable events included the Whittle Holocaust Memorial, the Members' Sunday, the Whittle Awards Dinner, uh, uh, ex councillors Pat Williams and Harry Smith, and trying to keep them on pass on the night, and I don't act as a referee, and I guess not.
15 year old fleeing Germany and ended up back in Germany in Gelsen with his mum and, and dad who were both slaughtered in the camp. That was really heartbreaking. And we also had a guy called um, um, uh, Paul, uh, no sorry, Stephen Baker, Stephen Baker uh, from Kilgar School. And his other job is um, he goes over to the former Yugoslavia, Bosnia uh, to unearth evidence of war crimes for the Hague. And he was telling us the most horrific stories uh, of things he's seen and the stories he had heard. And you know, when you think of it, that all those atrocities that happened in the former Yugoslavia, Bosnia, simply Serenitia, so, so where, where he was talking, what he was talking about, where 8,000 young men and boys were slaughtered. Only 20 odd years ago, on our doorstep in modern Europe, it, 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 it just begs belief. And I remember, it, I remember, remember watching it on the 6 o'clock news, ITM News, uh, and I think it was, uh, what's his name, General Maladic, patting a young boy on the head on the news, said, you're going to be safe with us, and then he slaughtered him all. Imagine slaughtering 8,000 people. I mean, that's Trammy Rose's um, capacity or method. I mean, they're, they're certainly in some of their tenses.
well, uh, where it reflects most of the sports. And also, in terms of, there's no one here now, but the gallery. It's very easy to say to the gallery, look, you don't stop all that, you're all you're out. But you've not done that. I think you've always realised that democracy is something.